The past 12 months will go down in history as a time of a slow renewal. When country slowly came out of lockdown and moved towards so-called normality. But from the Hampshire countryside, Jamaat the Ahmadiyya continued its steady progress as Hazrat Khalifa al Masih embarked on a busy schedule of virtual mulakats, addresses to global events, and launching new initiatives, as well as venturing to Bait al Fatu to inspect the ongoing building work. We take a look at another historic year for the Jamaat through the lens of Hazur's activities. The medium of virtual mulakats, which were a new blessing the previous year, are now a mainstay in Hazur's schedule. Allah Ta'ala ka shukur ada karte hai ke usne hame pehle dafa ye tarikhi din dikaya ke jis me hum sab apne mulk me bet kar khalifa e wakt se barah rast mulaqat ki saadat ba raha hai hum Allah Ta'ala se umid karte hai aur nihayat tadarro se uske hudur dua go hai go hai ke ye mulaqat diyar e muqaddasa me khair o barakat ke the Mulaqats provide an opportunity for Hazur to meet Ahmadi Muslims in parts of the world that would previously have been difficult for Hazur to visit, such as Kababir, India, Nigeria and Singapore. I always pray that you're in good health. Uh, my question is, uh, what is one piece of advice you have for the younger Kudam here in Singapore in terms of faith and spirituality? Once somebody asked Hazrat Masih Muhammad Islam that give me an advice in one sentence. He said that fear Allah and do everything. If you have a fear of Allah, then you will not go astray. You cannot do bad things. You will always obey His commandments. You will always discharge your rights towards Allah Ta'ala and the rights you owe to your fellow beings. So, if you have a fear of Allah, then you can do all the good deeds. And always remember that Allah is watching over us wherever we are. Men, women and children the world over relished the blessings of being in Hazur's presence, even digitally. And Ahmadi Muslims, the world over waited anxiously for a glimpse of every mulakat to glean words of wisdom, but also witness Hazur's love for his people. One benefit is that, which I get from this virtual mulakat is that, that uh, I can see your faces. I can see how strong and staunch the people of the community are in their faith. And I can see the love for the Khilafat on their faces, as I can see on your face. So this is the benefit which I am also getting. Hazur also helped Mulkats with many armless throughout the year, providing clear guidance as to how they should be working within their Jamaats. One consistent reminder to all armlers was to focus on the tarbiyat and cooperation of the arml members first. This in turn will encourage remaining Jamaat members. हमारे जो तालीम का परचा है उसके बहुत कम रिस्पांस आते हैं ऑलमोस्ट 10 परसेंट रिस्पांस आ रहा है और आमला की तरफ से भी नहीं कोई अच्छा रिस्पांस आता। आम पहले तो आमला से शुरू करें ना आमला की तरफ से अगर नहीं आता तो सदर साहब से कहें ऐसी आमला मेंबरान को आमला से निकालते हैं, हैं? एक ही इलाज है कि जो आमला एक्टिव मेंबरान नहीं है और ये जो बुनियादी तावन नहीं करने वाले हैं अगर आमला वाले खुद नहीं काम कर रहे तो सिर्फ अफसर बना के तो नहीं बिठाने के लिए रखे हुए हमने यहाँ हैं अब ये कहते हैं आपके कायस में ही हौसला शिकनी होती है अब हौसला शिकनी अगर आप लोग सौ फीसद काम कर रहे हों अपने अंदर परफेक्शन पैदा कर लें और दो दुनिया को पता हो मेम्बरान को पता हो अनसार को पता हो कि हमारे जो अहदेदारान हैं वो 
کام کرنے والے ہیں اور بڑی دل جمی سے کام کرنے والے ہیں اور جو جماعتی حکم جو آتا ہے اس پہ خود بھی تعمیل کرتے ہیں اگر ہمیں تعمیل کروانے کے لیے کہتے ہیں تو پھر وہ تعاون بھی کریں گے اور حوصلہ سیکھنے بھی کریں نہیں کریں گے His Holiness, may Allah be his helper, addressed diverse gatherings of different auxiliaries and subsidiaries of the community worldwide, thereby lifting the hearts of professional and lay people alike. Hazur addressed Jalsa UK, Germany, Guardian, and Guinea-Bissau, where he continued to warn the world of the destructive path it is on. آج کل امن و سلامتی کی باتیں ہوتی ہیں کہ کس طرح دیر پا امن قائم کیا جائے مقامی سطح سے لے کر بین الاقوامی سطح تک فتنہ و فساد اور جنگوں کے امکانات بڑھ رہے ہیں یہ بیماری جس نے تمام دنیا کو آج کل ہلا کے رکھ دیا ہے یعنی کووڈ نائنٹین کی بیماری اس نے بھی دلوں کی قدورتیں دور نہیں کی قوموں کے ایک دوسرے پر فوقیت خناس کو دور نہیں کیا اللہ تعالیٰ کی اس وارننگ سے کوئی سبق نہیں انسان حاصل کر رہا اور اگر یہ اسی طرح قائم رہا جو رویہ ہے لوگوں کا قوموں کا تو بڑے خطرناک نتائج پیدا ہوں گے Throughout the year, Hazur also addressed ishtamas for Khuddam in the UK and Germany, and Lajna and Ansar in the UK. Hazur continuously emphasized the need to fulfill our pledge as Ahmadi Muslims, and to focus on spirituality and community over the materialism of the world. Hazur also graced Humanity First and MTA conferences in the past year, providing guidance to hundreds of volunteers around the world. At the IAAAE conference in March, Hazur admonished that if World War were to erupt, it would be the duty of Ahmadi Muslims to seek to rebuild society. Where we must pray that the world's leaders see sense and de-escalate before it is too late. We must also stand ready to play a leading role in rebuilding society if, God forbid, such horrific circumstances ever come to pass. Certainly, in the aftermath of such a war, humanity will face the monumental challenge of rebuilding the world piece by piece. And it will be our duty as Ahmadi Muslims to be at the forefront of that effort. If God forbid, the world's political powers remain bent on forcing the world into a blazing fire of warfare and destruction, it will be our task as Ahmadi Muslims to be there to pick up the pieces and to apply cooling warm upon the scorching wounds of mankind and society. It will be our obligation and duty to strive to rebuild society and to save mankind from further turmoil and sorrow. Hazur traveled to Betel Fatu Mosque in May of this year to personally address the Majlis Shura. Alhamdulillah, this year also marks the centenary of the institution of Majlis Ashura. Even a cursory glance through the history of our Jamaat is enough to testify to the fact that the help and support of Allah Ta'ala has always been by our side and has enabled the Jamaat to progress and flourish in all respects, and this is certainly true with regards to the institution of Majlis Ashura. The blessed seed that was sown 100 years ago has not only taken firm root, but has flourished 
and its fruits are now spread all across the world. Hazur also used this occasion to once again inspect the ongoing Beit al construction project. By Allah, the Exalted's grace, His Holiness also guided the development of the community to new heights this year, with the opening of new buildings such as Sarai Nasir, a guest house of Majid Ansarullah in February. Scholarly websites were launched, which are to benefit not just the community, but also wider elements of world society, both now and in future. A year ago in July, the Ahmadiyya Archives, Ahmadipedia, was launched, followed by the Kurdish website, 313 Companions, .org, Salat mobile app and Read Quran app earlier this year. His Holiness also met in person with old and new friends of the community, such as MP Sir Ed Davy, a long-standing friend of the community, as well as Dr. Katrina Lantoswet, an American humanitarian from the Lantos Foundation. On June the 11th, Hazur was visited by the Coptic Christian Archbishop. Most recently, on the 8th of July, Hazur delivered a special message to the International Conference of Freedom of Religion and Belief held at the Queen Elizabeth Centre in London. The conference brought together government representatives, parliamentarians, faith representatives, and civil society from around the world. I am very pleased to learn that the International Ministerial Conference on Freedom of Religion or Belief 2022 is commencing today. In order to promote and protect the fundamental principles of freedom of religion and belief. As per the theme of this inaugural session, it is certainly the case that freedom of religion and belief are core human rights that must be preserved and protected for everyone and everywhere. Though we are living in an increasingly secularized world in which people are moving away from religion, many millions of people around the world continue to adhere to religious values and it is essential that they are able to live their lives according to their beliefs and convictions. Azur's frequent inspections of Islamabad and attendance at such gatherings as the Khuddam sports event in July brought much needed cheer to all the locals. In a year where much seemed slow and regressive, His Holiness pressed on with engagements to guide work and appreciate sincere efforts by far-flung devotees from Argentina to Indonesia and everywhere in between. <laughs> These are but just a small sampling of Hazur's own tireless efforts in just one year to fulfill the mission of the Promised Messiah salam, and to spread the message of Islam brought by the Holy Prophet wasallam, to call out in every direction so that whoever is good-natured will eventually take heed of his message.